Hi everyone, long time no speak. It's been so so long since I last made a video, I think it's been around 8 to 9 months now, which has gone so so fast. But I am back now with an introduction to my hamster. Now, um, I got him um, last February, so February 2014, and um, obviously because I haven't made a video, I haven't been able to introduce you to him. It's only because I've been so busy with college and work that I just haven't had a um, chance to film at all because I just had no time. So um, I thought seeing as it's now like the summer holidays and I've got a bit more extra time um, that I would introduce you to him. So um, yes, I think he's just down here. Yeah. Tommy! When he comes up. <laughs> Yeah, um, as you can tell by me saying it, his name is Tommy and he's just a Syrian hamster. Tommy! Doesn't seem to be <laughs> um, responding, so he may end up saying hello hopefully by the end of the video, but we'll just see. So yeah, um, I thought I'll give you a quick overview of the cage, seeing as... Um, if I just introduce it to him and then end the video, it's a bit of a short video and not really the best way to sort of get back into um, filming. So I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of his cage um, and just let you know where he's been staying um, for the past pretty much year and a half because he is already half of his life expectancy. Um, just because of me not having any time to film really. Um, and yeah, so um, the cage I actually got from um, a Pets at Home when I was doing work experience there. Basically, around the time that I got Tommy, I um, spotted it in the warehouse of Pets at Home and I said to them, um, is it going to be used or are you going to put it on the shop floor? And they basically said to me that if I... Um, donate some money into the Adoptions for Pets, which is um, the Adoption Centre in Pets at Home, that I could just have the cage. So I donated £4 and they gave me the cage. And um, what I basically got was the bars of the cage, the base of the cage, the tunnel and the two connectors. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good deal, to be honest, um, for only £4. And recently online I've been um, looking and I've actually spotted it um, and it's ranging between 17 and 20 pounds when um, I looked so um, yeah I'm pretty pleased because I pretty much got an absolute bargain <laughs> so um, yeah that's the story behind the cage um, and yeah I got him pretty much the same day um, that I got the cage um, so yeah I'll just start by bringing you over here so um uh, this is his water bottle. It's actually by Bieber or Biber, however you pronounce it. And um, yeah, uh, this was actually Damascus's water bottle, but um, it's been completely disinfected and passed down to Tommy. He looked up a minute ago, but I don't think he's going to look again. Tommy! No, maybe soon. <laughs> he was alive a minute ago and he's just gone down there to have a little rest, I think even though his bed is actually in that corner over there. Um, next we have his fiddlesticks. Um, can't remember where he's from, but yeah, I think they're probably from Pets at Home or something. But yeah, just some fiddlesticks, multicoloured ones with um, natural colourings though, obviously. Um, and that just brings us up to his tunnel. So through to his tunnel, and then we have this ledge that he can just sit on if he wants to um so yeah that was from pets at home as well and then he's based on sawdust oh, that's the base of his cage and then he's got a door here so i have easy access um to everything in the cage including him um and then we have one of these which is basically um it's like a dental chew i think um i can't remember where it's from i think it's from the brand pet brands but i'm not entirely sure but it's basically um, 
a wood chew that's stuffed with parsley I think it is it's basically um, parsley stuffed in this sort of wooden block um, that's coloured obviously natural colourings as well um, and I gave that to him he hasn't really done anything with it he sort of started to chew it and then just gave up in the end so yeah that just sits there in case he wants to have a little chew we then have his wheel which was passed down from Harvey once again like the water bottle um, it was completely disinfected before I gave it to Tommy but yeah that's been passed down from Harvey to Tommy and then we have his um, food bowl I'll just grab that and that has just some of his um, Harry Hamster Complete Muesli it did have a bit more in it earlier on but I think he's had a good rummage in the bowl and taken out the bits that he fancied and left the rest <laughs> well there he is Tommy meet YouTube let me put the bowl down <laughs> Oh, he's so silly. He's sitting right where the bowl goes. One second. There we go. Good boy. Oh, he's got any treats in? Nope. Fine. <laughs> Tommy! Hi. So, yeah, there's a good look of him there. Um, but, yeah, that's one of the little chew toys. That's the bowl. And that was actually from um, Wilkinson's for a pound, I believe. Um, and that's probably been passed down from a hamster as well, but I can't entirely remember um which hamster it was <laughs> but yeah it's by mason cash which is quite um a sort of strong bowl company <laughs> if that makes any sense um yeah and then over here we have um his bed and that just has some um of the wilkinson shredded paper and a shredded paper bedding um, and it's like a pound per bag or 99p per bag or something which is absolutely brilliant and then he just got um, a few treats and some of his main food um, buried in there somewhere <laughs> he doesn't really have a corner for food and a corner for his bed he sort of just puts it all together so if I just hover over here you can see some food just there and then he's got a treat here so yeah <laughs> he has um, everything in the same place so just have to move but the only thing is is water bottles over here so if he's thirsty he's got to go here but it's not too far <laughs> not too far to travel and then finally for objects in his cage just next to him um he's got a orange and cyan blue tunnel i think that was from wilkinson's i'm not entirely sure but yeah it was pretty cheap to be honest and it's lasted ages seeing as it's been um completely soaked and um, disinfected it's still pretty strong which I'm quite pleased with and it was only probably just over a pound or something so it's great but yeah that's just a little introduction to my hamster um, and a little overview of his cage so yes if you want me to do any more videos please um, request either below or on my main channel um, or just comment on any video really just ask me what you'll what you'd like me to film and i'll get it up as soon as possible so yeah thank you for watching and i'll speak to you next time bye